wish you were here too. All right. So uh, today is the most extraordinary day in the unraveling of the Russia case for this reason. Let's just take it at 30,000 feet. First, everything that's in the Bruce Orr 302s, nearly everything was on your show more than a year ago because of the reporting of the team that has worked with you to expose this. But now the rest of the media gets to see exactly what we knew and we reported. And that is the FBI allowed itself to be used for a political dirty trick. The State Department, the FBI, Bruce Orr, his private citizen wife, Nellie Orr, Glenn Simpson, and Christopher Steele were in a triangulated relationship to get Donald Trump with dirty political intelligence that turned out to be wrong. And that is the ultimate result of this investigation. And the two men who ran it most closely, Andrew McCabe and Peter Strzok, want the American people to believe they are victims for having allowed that ruse on the American people to go. It is irrefutable that the FBI was used and helped facilitate a political dirty trick where there should have been no FBI involvement. These 302s are clear. Uh, Steele was as flawed an informant as you could possibly have, politically motivated, spewing uncorroborated things, going to John McCain before the election. All of those are breaches of the protocol of a normal human source inside the FBI. And the two men who allowed all that to happen, Pete Stroke and Andrew McKay, want us to feel like they're victims. This is a backward story, and I think the American public will be able to figure out who the real victims were, the American public. The amount of